Happy Tuesday to you guys. Uh, today in class you're going to be working on some Punnett square problems. Uh, we went over the steps to solve a Punnett square problem on Friday and if you remember a couple of the things that you need to do, you first need to figure out if uh, the which trait is dominant, which trait is recessive. The problem should tell you, but always, always, always set up a symbol to use. Capital letter for the dominant trait, lowercase letter for the recessive trait. Then you need to figure out the genotypes of the parents. So in an example, maybe you're looking to see if they are both heterozygous, meaning one dominant allele and one recessive allele, or maybe they're homozygous or purebred, uh, and that would mean that they are either both dominant or both recessive. Check for that. Then you're going to set up your square. Your Punnett square has the four boxes and you'll put the parent types on each uh, side of the square. So the first parent I always put down the side, second parent I always put across the top, and then you'll do your cross, meaning you'll move the two letters, kind of like you do in cross multiplication, move the two letters into each box, and then look at the characteristics that you would expect to see from those offspring. You're going to be doing some practice problems today, so I wanted to give you one more example to look at. So if you look at the smart board here, uh, you can see I have up at the top that we are working with pea plants. We're working with tall and short, so I set it up already that, that capital T is my tall plant and lowercase t is a short plant. Uh, we're going to cross two heterozygous individuals. So that will be a big T, little t, cross with another big T, little t. So those are two heterozygous tall plants. Uh, now I'm going to set up my square. And I'm going to move my parent types down to each side. So my first one is a big T, little t. So I'm going to pull a big T down and a little t down. My second parent is also a big T, little t. So I'm going to have a big T, little t across the top as well. From here, all I've got to do is complete the square. Uh, inside my first box, I've got a T on the outside and a T on the top, so I'll have big T, big T in my first square. In my second square, I've got a big T on the outside, little t on the top, so I'll wind up with big T, little t. Then in my third box down here, I've got a big T on top, little t on the bottom. I always put my capital letters first if they're there. So I'll put a big T, little t in that one. And in our final box, we've got a little t, little t, which will give us little t, little t in the box. When I start looking at the characteristics, big T, big t gives me a tall plant. So I've got one tall. Uh, big T, little t gives me a second tall plant. Okay, And big T, little t, there's a third tall plant. So that's three tall plants compared to one short plant. So that's a three to one ratio of uh, tall to short. Remember, those are the physical characteristics I can see. So this is the phenotypic ratio. The genotypic ratio is the comparison of the sets of letters. I've got one big T, big T. I've got two big T, little t's. And I've got one little t, little t. So that's one to two to one, big t, big t, to big t, little t, to little t, little t. I was asked for a probability that the plant was short. Remember, uh, one short plant out of four means the probability is one fourth. Good luck working on your problems today. You can work with a partner as far as I'm concerned. Uh, talk them over. And you will be, we will be going over these when I get back tomorrow.